for, uh, uh, for the kind introduction. Uh, I thank Susti for choosing me to deliver this lecture. And uh, in fact, I'm very happy and delighted to teach you uh, some of the aspects of good agricultural uh, practices uh, that I will be sharing. Uh, so what I do uh, in this uh, uh, session, uh, maybe of, of, of 55 minutes or so, I'll just uh, uh, briefly uh, introduce different aspects of uh, good agricultural practices for Indian medicinal plants especially the regulatory aspects also i will be touching it uh, to introduce uh, myself uh, i am from uh, icer institution indian council of agriculture research institute which is called as directorate of medicine and aromatic plants research so this is our institute which is located at anand gujarat so we are almost 28 years old institution so we are working on the medicinal and aromatic plants research in the country uh, especially uh, for the cultivation development of good agricultural practices and also cultivation aspects of medicine and aromatic plants so we have various disciplines so like crop improvement crop protection crop uh, management uh, crop production and phytochemistry division also and we are also having uh, various uh, this incubation cell this is called medihub technology business incubation cell so where in which we uh, we incubate your ideas uh, as i told you uh, ideas may be up to uh, proof of concept and late proof of concept to the product so both can be incubated and you can visit our website uh, here um, so here you can visit our website uh, and this is in brief our, uh, our institution and uh, we are all responsible for uh, the Isabgul cultivation. Isabgul is one of the important medicinal plant which is cultivated in our country. And we are the pioneers in the promotion of Isabgul cultivation in our country. You can see that we have created a revolution in the cultivation of Isabgul. Similarly, we are also working and uh, promoting Senna, an important medicinal plant. And we have also created a revolution in the cultivation of Senna, especially in the parts of Tamil Nadu. Tirnal Valley district, uh, Tirnal Valley, Virudhanagar and other district and parts of Rajasthan and uh, uh, Rajasthan and Gujarat. So we we own these two credits uh, for the development of uh, uh, community, development of uh, these two revolutions in the country. So this is in brief about, uh, uh, about my institution. And uh, regarding my talk today, I will be briefly telling some Indian medicinal plants, how they are important and the cultivation of Indian medicinal plants, say for example, good agricultural practices such as how to cultivate, which one to cultivate, when to cultivate, where to cultivate, all those things will be highlighted. And we have standardized certain good agricultural practices that needs to be followed in order to ensure the quality of the hub. So, so finally, I'll be touching on some of the regulatory aspects of good agricultural practices. Uh, over uh, my lecture, after this my lecture, you will be you will be enriched with uh, the some of the important medicinal plants uh, which are being cultivated in our country. And uh, what are all the good agricultural practices that need to be followed uh, followed in order to ensure the good ensure the quality uh, herbal material for the industry as well as the whole consumption. So this is uh, this is I start my lecture with this uh, note that uh, there is, every plant has a medicinal value. There is no plant on the earth which is not having the medicinal value. So take, for example, the Tulsi is one of the important medicinal plants which is available everywhere and everybody knows that importance of Tulsi in respiratory diseases. Uh, similarly, likewise, there is no plant on the earth which is not having the medicinal plants. So every plant is important to us. And uh, some may be of uh, highly value, high value, some may be of less value. Some may be having a lot of resources, a lot of information is available. So we can call them as very good, uh, uh, we can call them as a medicinal plant. So if something which is which is unknown, which is not having any uh, the ethnopharmacal uh, pharmaceutical value, so we can call it as simply plant. So like that, every plant is important to us. And these medicinal properties are due to some of the metabolites. What are those metabolites? These are the metabolites, secondary metabolites, which are produced in the plant. 
so this is these secondary metabolites confers the medicinal properties of the plant so why uh, the medicinal plants are important when we have uh, modern medicines so you can think of uh, modern medicines modern medicines you have answer for everything but uh, same so parallelly you have don't have answer for safety so they are safe enough the herbal materials are safe enough and some of them are very highly effective uh, uh, so you, you you can see that effectiveness of certain drugs certain herbal drugs in the over the modern modern medicine and uh, most important is availability they are available everywhere new can corner they are available so it is accessible to everyone these are the four features that make that make them herbals are more preferred over the modern medicines so you can see this is the diagram how uh, our body is associated with various medicinal plants you can see that you can i'll start with skin care uh, products you can see that skin care products lot many are made from the aloe vera likewise if you take some digestive uh, tract problems like constipation and other thing many products are from isabdul and sen similarly you have some stomach uh, obstructions like uh, like some issues related to liver to bumi amla and hardia are some of the important similarly for brain you can see that lot of memory boosters like brahmi prakopa manuri and uh, manduka parani centella asiatica these two are the important memory boosters like hair tonics lot of hair tonics you can see that lot of products are made from bringraj on lot of eye tonics you can see that dodi i what i mean to say that every organ in our in our body has one or the other medicinal plants which is having uh, medicinal properties to cure that element of that part so you can see uh, so some of some of the examples you can see that these are all the plants which we which we generally take at home as a home remedy for uh, for whenever we infected with the flu say for example kalmegi which is called as kal underbrush spanculata adusi it is adathoda vasikam tulsi you have ostrum sanctum and pipli and pepper lantern giloi gitinox pura cardicoli and lemon grass these are all the some of the examples whenever we we come across with dengue or spine flu like symptoms we take these two these are the plants which are being used for preparation of many drugs that is made made for curing dengue or spine flu these are all the some of the plants which uh, which are being cultivated in our country like uh, is a cool which is one of the largest area in our country almost 3 to 3 to 3.5 lakh hectares in rajasthan and gujarat and madhya pradesh followed by senna and followed by safed musli you have gilo you have gugal you have ashwagandha which is again very popular these days because of covid 19 and uh, aloe vera so you have lot of applications lot of face creams a uh, lot of skin care products have been developed you have call make anacropis paniculata you have satawa you have asparagus resinosus some facts uh, i can just put it on before you before going for good agricultural practices you can see that medicinal plants majority of the medicinal plants are collected from the wild so this is again very Uh, very precarious situation we should not uh, collect uh, all the materials all the collect from the wild instead we have to go for cultivation that's why this talk is highly relevant that uh, we can go for good agricultural practices for production of these medicinal plants and what are the advantages of uh, uh, of collection from the wild collection from the wild is very very easy so so i get a part of uh, at the same time it causes loss of biodiversity and you will get lot of heterogeneity in the material so whatever the material that you are getting is not uniform say giloy may be of different maturity stages so same maturity stages will not have same chemical composition so in a way you will get you are creating heterogeneity in the material that's why your product quality will be affected so most of the times it is unauthentic so authentication is a major issue so because collectors are not educated about the plant species authentic plant species so there are species level different sub species mimicking each other so so in such cases it is very difficult to uh, harvest because adulterate unauthentic material will have a, will have a serious complications when you are going for preparation of the uh, preparation of the drugs 
and also you, it will not it is not possible for you to meet the demand so rather uh, we recommend to go for cultivation using good agricultural practices which will ensure the purity of the herb purity of the authenticity of the raw drug which get, which is used for the preparation of the drug and the availability of the medicinal plant to the end users all the throughout the year which is not possible with respect to collection from the wild these are all the major differences or the major advantages of cultivation so then coming to the good agricultural practices of medicinal plants what are these good agricultural practices these good agricultural practices are set of guidelines for farmers or medicinal plant producers on how to improve the safety of the drug efficacy of the drug and quality standards of the raw material used in preparation of herbal medicine it is good agricultural practices are there for every crop plant but the objective of good agricultural practices of medicinal plants is to ensure the safety ensure the efficacy and quality standards so these three features make them different so otherwise for for like agricultural crops so they are same for medicinal plants but only the safety issue and efficacy and quality standards are very important for medicinal medicinal plants is concerned some of the general principles of good agricultural practices you can see the first and the foremost thing is that hygiene and cleanliness because this is the most important product because we it is it is consumed as a medicine so it should be hygiene enough so anything that medicinal plant material comes in contact must be spotlessly clean this is the message that we need to maintain wherever for this whatever that you need to do it whether it is disinfection whether it is cleaning uh, everything should be so tidy that you should you should you should not come in contact with the with the medicinal plant produce you should not be come in contact with uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, issues related to hygiene and cleanliness and the other general principle is the correct identification so when the species uh, wrong species can find a way uh, way in the herbal medicine cause a serious health consequences to the consumer so this is what uh, the message is that you need to identify uh, uh, very very aptly the uh, the the one the plant say for example i i can see that there are ashwagandha vithania somnifera is the right species that is being used for preparation of various ayurvedic medicines but instead of that you you can find lot of uh, ashwagandha ashwagandha vithania somnifera is adulterated with vithania coagulans similarly cassia angustifolia is one senna which is the raw drug which is used for preparation of many herbal drugs but most of the times happen senna is adulterated with uh, adulterated or uh, uh, with cassia holosericha cassia angustifolia is adulterated with cassia holosericha like species level differences you need to identify and we need to use the right species for preparation of the uh, herbal uh, drugs so so is the case only you get efficient they have, they become more effective for a particular particular field disease the other principles of uh, good agricultural practices for medicinal plants include prevention of contamination this is most important whenever we 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 prepare a drug we drug, we see the safety and efficacy and quality standards the quality is deteriorated with the presence of pesticide residues heavy metals and harmful microbes so whenever we are going for cultivation of a medicinal herb we should see that the pesticide should be should be as minimum as possible or permissible limits for pesticide residues need to be need to be complied in order to get good agricultural practices similarly lot of heavy metals like uh, uh chromium and other things are getting contaminated with the herbal produce which is again affecting the consumer consumers and more and more of the most of the times consumers seek the uh, the products which is free from these are the uh, pesticides and heavy metals and harmful microbes and the other main principle is that best active ingredients always if the active ingredients are optimum then the efficacy of the herbal drug is is very good so in such cases you need to ensure your good agricultural practices should be followed 
to see that your active principal active immediate content should be should be optimal enough uh, in that in that uh, in that uh, raw track so for that we have developed a lot of package of practices on how to cultivate how to cultivate hub where to cultivate and when to cultivate and what are the best practices to be followed to, to cultivate so these need to be optimized and should be followed in order to get best ingredient the other principles is the best yield and income so it is almost everybody everybody every farmer is cultivating his crop or medicinal plant is to get best yield and best income if it is not uh, giving a best yield and best income the farmers will discontinue cultivation so we need to have best good agricultural practices to optimize the yield of the crop and therefore income the farmers so these are all the uh, this is the third most important principle of good agricultural practices the other most important aspect is documentation and traceability this is again the most important uh, aspect of uh, gap good agricultural practices guidelines when the consumer seek the information of where where the material has been sourced for particular drug and what are all the best practices which has been uh, it has been uh, practiced to get the, the to get the raw drug so in such cases documentation of the each and every activity is most important say for example the site selection of site selection of variety selection of crop plant selection of uh, uh, weed sites selection of irrigation so pest management how you have done so everything should be have a record of record so that the consumer whatever whenever they seek information because all these things when you give such information to the consumer the consumer would be ready to pay the more money so in, so this will fetch more money in the market rather than the rather than the other ordinary material so record keeping is a major focus of good agricultural practice guidelines it will help to address the quality related issues whenever uh, to encounter during the course of preparation of a drug so these are all the uh, uh, practices there are some do's and don'ts which is already uh, i will share you one document which you can go through afterwards for good agricultural product cultivation say site selection so generally site selection should be free from uh, uh, industries it should be far away from industries where that wherever the industry effluents are coming that's that site should not be selected and uh, site selection should be based on the adaptability of the crop if that region which is not adaptable for that crop uh, it will give uh, poor performance instead wherever it is adapted adaptable uh, site should be selected so that will give you a very optimal say for example if i want to cultivate long pepper in northeast it is very good so very good very good very good uh, very good choice because that long pepper is highly adapted to particular that location northeastern condition like jorahat conditions so when the same is uh, when you when your same is try to cultivate in in himachal conditions it may not be good so it, it may not be good the plant may establish but it may give close but the quality of the close may not be good so selection of the site is most important and also preparation of the land preparation how to prepare land whether you need deep plowing whether it is shallow plowing and uh, uh, and what is the organic matter content and sowing and planting so this is also most important whether you are to go for broadcasting whether you are to go for line sowing what is the spacing that you need to follow and how, what are the planting material that you are to use for whether it is planting vegetatively propagated material or seeds are to be used irrigation whether what is the schedule of irrigation what is the time of irrigation which is the critical stage of irrigation where in which uh, below which the plant will not survive weeding again how to weed whether it is culturally we have to weed or we have to go for some weedy site or we have to go for some other cultural other practices such as solarization to, uh, to remove the weeds and also pest and diseases how to manage the pest and diseases if occurs whether you have to use botanicals or the chemical pesticides so harvesting how to when to harvest where how to harvest and and also all these activities need to be documentation because documentation of all these things are must in order to ensure the traceability as well as any quality related issues it comes here 
regarding the good agricultural practices for post harvest processing whenever you get uh, 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 whenever you get uh, the produce harvested it needs to be transported to the you know, particular location where in which we can carry out uh, carry out uh, but uh, post harvest operations like drying and we need to select drying or drying sorting grading and all the all these are the post harvest operations so we need to transport transportation we need to decide how to transport this material so that it can it can be contamination free and when to transport whether we can dry it at the farm level and take it to the for processing site and designing of the processing site is also most important it should be far away from the places of wherever we get contaminants or effluents and also sorting primary sorting also we need to do it washing of the material whether you have to wash with the clean water or with the steam or with the uh, or with any other means of washing drying whether you have to dry uh, solar what is the temperature that you need to dry whether it is shade drying uh, partial shade drying or some open conditions because all these matters for the quality of the hub quality of the raw drug because everything is say for example tulsi leaves if i take and if i go for open sun open sun drying and i'll find that lot of uh, lot of leaves are uh, turning tan turning brown because those uh, turning brown will not will have less co active principal content and will not give you better efficacy when you use it, use that material for preparation of the drug likewise we have to go for grading so different leaf grading techniques are there that you need to be follow packing how to pack the material storage of the material so <coughs> all these things are uh, needed in order to all these are the components of uh, uh, so good agricultural practices that you need to follow for for cultivation of medicinal and aromatic plants in india so there are some do's and don'ts we have come out with a trainer's manual Uh, we have a good agricultural and collection practices for medicinal plants which have been prepared and this can be downloaded from uh, our website it is already available if somebody is interested we can also give you uh, i can share you this material to you so that you can follow how to do uh, how to do and what are the don'ts available for good agricultural practices likewise all these things and other, there is also a movie youtube movie is also been made by our institute in collaboration with the favo and this can be downloaded and can be seen for further details so that i will not be touching in this one. coming to the regulation aspects of good agricultural practices in india so there are different mechanisms available so one is uh, medicinal plant produce certification means regulation of good agricultural practices and uh, this quality medicinal plant produce <coughs> regulation quality certification is again enacted by uh, different institutions like national medicinal plant board which is there in the ayush department ayush ministry so they will do a quality maintain quality of uh, quality of medicinal plant produce this quality regulation of medicinal plant produce so this uh, national medicinal plant board in collaboration with pca quality control of india they have developed a scheme called a uh, voluntary scheme for voluntary certification of medicinal plants produced that i will be highlighting to in brief and uh, quality seed and planting material for cultivation needs to be uh, needs to be regulated it is it comes under seed seed legislation under seed act 1996 1966 and seed bill 2004 so whatever the rules and uh, the things given in the this uh, two uh, uh, acts Uh, so that needs to be followed in, in in providing the quality seed and planting material for cultivation so this is the scheme called quality certification scheme for medicinal for medicinal plant produce so this has been enacted by national medicinal plant board in collaboration with uh, quality control of india where in which uh, uh, this scheme is voluntary scheme. so this scheme is voluntary scheme that is if you are cultivating the medicinal produce if you wish if you want to go for the gap certification you can apply for this scheme so this is voluntary this is uh, if you wish only if you are not interested if you can go because the uh, the medicinal plants production is not streamlined in our country it is very highly unorganized it's not like food crops where you get lot of demand lot of organized cultivation is happening but these crops sometimes there is a boom sometimes there is a bust 
So in such cases, so this scheme can be followed for voluntary quality certification scheme for medicinal plant produce. And uh, you can approach to any of the certifying bodies which have been enlisted or recommended by the uh, QCA Quality Control of India. And uh, further, I am, I am to inform you that any individual, anybody can be approached and a group of farmers or producers can apply for, uh, for quality certification uh, by voluntary means. And this is open to all those present legally in our country. It is not restraining anyone uh, from, uh, from use, from apply, applying the certification process for, for this scheme. Uh, this is one thing. And the seed and quality planting material for medicinal and aromatic plants cultivation, like other crops. So seed, quality seed is regulated. And you need to produce quality seed. You need to give quality seed with quality seed quality can be assessed by 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 different parameters. Like like first and the foremost thing is germination percentage. So if it is designated germination percentage, then only uh, then only it will, it is passed. It is accepted. If it is not so, then you can sue them in the court court of law. So that is the case, and the medicinal plants are listed under the Seed Act 1966 and Seed Bill 2004, which aims to regulate quality seed uh, seeds to be sold in the market. So any spurious seed which is not having a viability uh, or germination, which is having very poor germination, um, you need not you cannot sell. If you sell it, you are you are caught under the law. The quality seed and planting material of medicinal plants are produced. So, because quality seed is most important in order to ensure the yield and quality of the medicine. So, with this, uh, I conclude my talk uh, by by saying few things uh, in this regard. The following good GACP guidelines: one can produce the raw material for urban industry, quality raw material for urban industry. The herbal medicines that are made out of good agricultural practices, quality material. We are guaranteed to be having high quality, effective, safe to use, and environmentally sound. Uh, further, I am I am I am stating that the medicines produced in this way, that by following the good agricultural practices, will provide long-lasting benefit to both the producers and the users of the herb. But what is the need of the hour is it is it is at this at this juncture. This is voluntary certification is there, but. It need of the hour is mandatory certification because uh, the ill effects of certain certain contaminants uh, are seeing in this uh, these days. So we need to go for mandatory certification. And most of the farmers are not farmers or producers are not following the good agricultural practices. So in such cases, it is highly important to educate the farmers by providing the training and awareness programs on medicinal and aromatic plants. With this beef, I thank you for uh, patience learning. If you have time, I can show you some video uh, which, is, which we can discuss. So now the session is open for discussion. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, I want to thank to you that uh, uh, like they, I was the searching for this kind of lecture only in the beef. And the main reason to join this was the this session because aromatic plant was my aromatic and medicinal plant is the area of which uh, I want to work for the future. Like uh, so, uh, quickly like uh, I'll uh, want to work in this segment in a very constructive matter. Like uh, working with the farmers and uh, be a supplier for big industries like Bajnat, Patanjali, and all those. And you uh, like you are in the directorate, so you perfectly identified, identified the gap that there is a need of uh, good agri agriculture practices. Yes. Like uh, I went to two to three industries. There is a uh, problem in like storage material. Yes. You know, yeah. So that is the need of the hour, right? So uh, what you uh, what you think about a, a person who wants to uh, work in this area from where he, he should start? Uh, like what should be their starting point and I am talking this from a business point of view that uh, this uh, to be a form a good uh, organization to be, which work with the farmers for the mm -hmm. kind of producing this kind of uh, herbs and aromatic plants mm -hmm. like we are 
uh, with my uh, one of senior uh, we are doing in a citronella plant as well mm-hmm. which uh, substantially increase the income of a farmer so uh, i have that kind of experience to working with the farmers because i have worked with the two startups already so i have that kind of exposure but the thing is that uh, herbal medicine has something the area which need uh, like area selection then land selection and uh, again the the soil should not be very contaminated with kind of uh, chemical fertilizer too much mm. so, yeah so yeah. Uh, what do you think about that no so uh, for uh, the information of all the participants i have shared you certain links in the uh, links in the web uh, in the chat box so which you can download and see the things uh to specifically answer your question to start this one you have to have uh you take the support of uh, any mentors so because all yeah. you cannot do it all you cannot do it yeah. you are you are not a master you are not a master in doing that okay? right right yeah. uh, otherwise uh, you can also do it but it takes lot of time one is uh, so mentor support is most important so mentor yes. support I'm looking me- for mentor as well. mentors yeah. mentors yeah. see once you join in our incubation program that i have highlighted yeah. you in brief i can also share you some of the details of the our incubation program sure. we can we can we can help you in solving all your doubts day to day doubts say for example uh, first doubt that comes that say for example you are in you are in uh, some part of your country whether this herb can be cultivated in that area or not the first question suitability of the right. particular herb to this yeah. particular area so that can be assessed only mentors can help you because scientists like us only will have a knowledge of the herb adaptability to that conditions so we can help you on that okay and the other thing is that prioritization of the herbs say for example we have so many herbal plants all are not demanded in the market everything has medicinal value but all are not demanded in the market in that case what is the prioritization prioritization how to do prioritization all those thing information will be provided to you in this in this cycle of incubation program so incubation program it is not one day program so remember this is we take incubation incubators for 3 months period and we start working on their problem right from the day one and we give solutions and appropriate decision can be your decision process will be hasten so with this i can i can uh, i have answered your question if you have any doubts you please uh, let me know yeah. sir can you uh, share some kind of link or more details about incubation program incubation program i'll just uh, share you in the chat box that and, you, and and also you can uh say so you can uh, you can google it you will get medihub the technology business incubator uh, which we have started of course i will give you something also you can go through now uh, and uh, get back to uh, the chat box i'll put it sure sure yeah it has been placed in the chat box you can discuss so that once you uh, fill in the form there is a google form once you fill in the form so your problem problem is identified and the project is identified and that will be we will be working on the problem so okay uh, yeah anyone has any questions i want everybody should interact yeah priyanshi you have anything anybody has any questions i have shared you the link and you can also download the youtube uh, uh, youtube video uh, in which uh, it will tell you how 